uh, let's talk about today's top corporate story. It follows that scary incident uh, over the weekend involving a United Airlines flight over Denver. Uh, a flight bound for Honolulu experienced engine failure shortly after takeoff and was forced to make an emergency landing. You probably saw the images over the weekend. United says it will temporarily ground 24 of its Boeing 777 jets. Meantime, Boeing is now telling customers to stop flying certain uh, 777 aircraft equipped with the same type of Pratt Whitney engines uh, that broke apart during that United flight. United is the only U.S. airline with this type of engine in its fleet. The head of the FAA saying the agency will order inspections of some jets. But um, concerning images, you see this. Uh, there's been, been, been problems with the 77. Uh, seven similar uh, situation, actually, just in, in the past two years now. So, um, of course, this will raise more questions, uh, both about Boeing uh, in some instances and perhaps uh, Pratt and Whitney as well. Joe? Yeah, it's uh, in, got a lot to do with the Dow, obviously, when Boeing's down seven or eight dollars. Uh, the, the previous uh, 777 problems were Pratt and Whitney problems, Andrew, or or Seven seven seven. Yes, problem. they were. They were. I think they were Pratt and Whitney, Whitney problems. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, one of the two. Uh, I think there's three. Right. Major producers of the engines. Uh, with, uh, Rolls, Royce. Rolls Royce and General Electric. Uh, yep. Yep. And and then Pratt and Whitney. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.